Hello, my people. Come on in. Come on in. Hit that like and subscribe button, my people. Come on in. You know, I, I always get ideas when I'm driving. You know that? You know that? This is your girl, Stephanie Fluellen. Welcome back to Life is Real, my people. Hit that like and subscribe button. I I tell you this every time, but you're hard here. Why are we so hard here? We were hard hit about coming to God, coming to Jesus. Why are we hard hit and coming to God and coming to Jesus? But we trust him. We trust humans out here so good. We trust humans. As soon as we meet somebody, we tell them our whole life story. We give them our body. We let them deliver our food. We let them take us place. But you won't uh, believe in God. You won't trust God. You hear me? Real talk, my people. We trust in humans too much. Too fast. But we won't trust in God. Why we won't trust in God? Cause you got dirty laundry in your in in in, the, in your body. What you doing behind closed door? That's why you won't trust God. That's why you won't trust Jesus. Because you don't want to get yourself right in the mind and in the heart. You don't want to correct yourself. You don't like the truth. You hear me? But it's time. It's the time is now to wake up. Change your heart, set in your mind, my people. Why it's so easy to trust humans out here, but we won't trust the Lord. Myself too. God changing me too, my people. I used to do the same thing. But I'm trying to wake up from that. Trying to do better. Trying to do better. We trust everybody. We trust people to go get our food, bring our food. We trust people to make our grocery. We just trust people. We trust people with our body. We trust people with our information. We trust people cooking our food. We just we trust people cutting our food you know how you go get your food and they cut it for you and stuff we trust people in cooking our food and we ain't scared they might sprinkle something on it you hear me but we got to that's why i'm trying to wake you up to get you out of there you got to trust god you got to believe in god and put god first my people come on today is the day we gotta put god first we gotta change our mindset. We gotta change our heart. You know what? Even if you delivering stuff to people, it don't matter if they're in a rich neighborhood. If they ain't got a good heart, they ain't gonna give you no tip. You might go to the poor neighborhood and they might give you a tip. You hear me? It's people hearts. It's not where they live at or what they got. It's they hearts, my people. Uh huh. Y'all don't want to believe in that. Y'all don't want to. Believe that, dog. It's the people's heart. It's not where they at, where they stay, or what they doing. If they go to church seven days a week, it don't matter. It's still based on your heart. Where your heart is. How you feel. You hear me? If you got demons in you, making you not help a person, you got to face that. You hear me? If you got demons in you, making you be ugly, you got to face that. We got to face our demons. We got to get all these demons out of us, my people. That's why you got to go to God and ask for forgiveness. He going to guide you and help you. He going to make you make better choices in life. He going to tell you when you got demons around you. He going to tell you when, if demons in your circle. You hear me? Real talk, my people. We got to trust in the Lord. We got to trust in Jesus. And stop trusting in all these humans out here that don't care about you. Don't nobody care about you but Jesus. 
Jesus is gonna help you and tell you what you're doing wrong so you can get it right. You hear me? Jesus is gonna help you. These humans out here ain't gonna help you. All they gonna do is go behind closed doors and talk about you. You hear me? Real talk, my people. Real talk on life is real. I'm telling you. But I just had that on my mind, my people. And, and I got to change myself. I got to stop. I'm, I'm trying. That's what I'm doing now. Trusting in the Lord. Trusting in Jesus. You hear me? We got to trust in Jesus. We got to bring Jesus back in our life. Jesus want to help us. Jesus want us to save our soul. Jesus want us to get our heart right, our mind right, our finance right. All this, my people. God said, be true to yourself. Stop all this lying for no reason. I'm telling, I'm telling, I got to stop too. I'm talking about this petty little itty bitty stuff. Because you don't want to, sometimes you, I, I'll do it because I don't want to tell you like she'll say. You like I said when I did my other video, I went in for a refill, but I ended up getting a full set. And then my daughter asked me, your nails still look pretty. You hear me? But I went in for a refill. I told her I got a refill, but I went in for a refill. But I ended up getting a full set. Now she told me it's best to go on and get a full set. And it looked nice and better to my people. But I just come in for the for a minute, my people. We always used to say blood is sticking in water. No blood ain't blood or stab you in your back. Your family will stab you in your back. Your friends will stab you in your back. As long as they, they just, people, sometimes people just come in our life. If they ain't building you up, they gonna tear you down. Them the only two reasons people come in your life or to take some or get some, get your energy, get your ideals. Wake up my people, I love y'all. I'll see y'all on my next episode, deuces.